हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन द न्यू ब्लिंग 2.0 आईओटी ऐप दिस इज भूपेंद्र सिंह एंड यू आर वाचिंग आवर YouTube चैनल एसएमई देहरादून टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू मेक अ स्मार्ट डस्टबिन फॉर योर होम विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन ईएसपी 32 और नोड एमसीयू ईएसपी 8266 वाईफाई बोर्ड एंड न्यू ब्लिंक आईओटी ऐप दैट विल शो यू the garbage level of the dustbin as well as the open close status of the garbage bin flap i have already posted a video on it using the blank agent method you can see it on my channel and guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and videos to make this project at home you need a esp32 wifi board an ultrasonic sensor ir sensor sg90 servo motor 12 volt to 5 volt step down power supply module and few jumper wires if you don't have 12 volt to 5 volt step down power supply module then you can directly connect the connection without it as per this circuit diagram if you want to use the node mcu esp8266 for this project then this is the circuit diagram to connect with node mcu let's first configure the new blink cloud template so open the web browser and open the blink.cloud website link is also available in the video description here you will get the options to login and for a new account if you are a new user then create your new account by clicking on create new account i am logging into my account so you can see the dashboard of blink here click on the template so click on the new template here you will see the template property here write your project name as blink smart dustbin select hardware as esp32 if you are using node mcu esp8266 then choose esp8266 here choose the connection type is wifi at the description write your project description as smart dustbin and click on done so we have created our project template let's create the data stream for your project so click on the data stream tab here click on new data stream and then virtual pin virtual pin property gets opened write the name as distance virtual pin as v0 and data type as integer and unit as centimeter set the max value to 100 and click on the create button so we have created the virtual pin to display the distance of the garbage in the dustbin right now we will create the virtual pin for the garbage level of the bin so click on the new data stream then virtual pin in the property write the name as bin level select the pin as v1 data type as integer units as percentage and set max value to 100 and click on create create another virtual pin for servo angles while opening and closing the flap of the dustbin so click on the new data stream then virtual pin in the property write the name as servo angles virtual pin as v2 data type as integer unit as degree max value to 180 and click on create so our virtual pins have been created successfully now time to add the widgets in the web dashboard so click on the web dashboard tab add two labels in the web dashboard also add one goes for the pin flap now hover the mouse cursor on the first label and click on the setting icon property gets opened select the data stream as distance and click on the save button now open the setting of the second level 
in the property select the data stream as bin level v1 and click on save now click on the setting of the gauze and in the property select data stream as servo angles v2 and click on save and at last click on save button to save all the settings in the project template so this is how we can configure the blink web server for our project now it's time to add our project template and create the credentials so now click on the search tab here you will get the new device button click on it here you will get the three options from template scan qr code and manual entry so click on the from template option here choose the template as blank smart dustbin and click on create so here you will get your project template that you need to add into your programming code you can also find these credentials at the device info tab so now time for the programming code go to the video description and click on the link for the programming code this link will redirect to the programming code here you can see the programming code copy this code and paste the code into the new tab of arduino id now save this program click on the file tab and then save choose the location where you want to save the program like desktop write the name as smart dustbin esp32 and click on save at the top of the program you can see the blank credentials that you need to change so go to your blank dashboard here click on search tab you can find here your project named blank smart dustbin click on it inside click on the device info tab and you will see your project credentials copy these credentials and replace them in the code right below i have defined the blank serial after including the wi-fi header and the blank esp32 library you also need to add the blank library in the arduino id so a link is available in the video description that will guide you how to add the blink library in the arduino id now below i have defined the blink authentication token that i have just defined here here you need to write your wi-fi or hotspot name in which you want to connect your esp32 board so that it can connect to the internet right here the password of that wi-fi i have defined the blank timer here i have defined the echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor to 32 and trigger pin to 33 of the esp32 board i have defined the servo library in the program and define the servo variable for it guys you also need to add the servo library in the arduino id so to add the servo library go to the sketch tab in the include library click on the manage libraries search here for servo scroll below and you will find the servo library for esp32 board you will get the install button to install the library so install the library and once installed click on the close button to go back to the programming code i have taken the duration variable as long distance variable as integer type and bin level as zero to store the distance measured by the ultrasonic sensor 
in the SME sensor function, I have read the IR sensor value and stored it to the IR integer type variable. I have an IR sensor that provides the high in the D0 output pin while sensing any obstacle. So while the IR sensor senses the high means while it senses the hand then I have moved the servo motor to 90 degree angles so that it can open the dustbin flap and we can put the garbage into the dustbin. We hold the servo motor at 90 degree till 5 seconds and then send the value to the V2 virtual pin of the blank. And below I have called the ultrasonic function in which I have measured the level of the garbage in the dustbin. Right? After the delay of 5 seconds, I close the flap by moving the servo motor to the 0 degree angle and write value to the V2 virtual pin so that it will display 0 in the blank cap. And if the IR sensor does not detect the hand, then we will call the ultrasonic function to display the garbage level in the virtual pin. In the ultrasonic function, we measure the height of the dustbin using an ultrasonic sensor and store it in the distance variable. Now we will map the level of the garbage bin in the bin level variable. I have 21 cm of the height of the garbage bin. So I write here maximum height is 21 and minimum is 0. Now I convert the garbage bin height to 0 to 100 so that we can show the height of the garbage in the blank mobile app between 0 to 100 percent. Now we write the distance in the V0 virtual pin and bin level to the V1 virtual pin. Now in the setup function we begin the serial at 9600 baud rate. We define the servo motor pin to 13 number pin of the ESP32. I have defined the IR sensor pin to 34 number pin. Below I have defined the pins for the trigger pin output and echo pin as an input. After it we begin the blank by passing the authentication token, SSID and password so that it can connect to the blank server. Now we will use the timer.setInterval function to call the SME sensor function every thousand millisecond means in one second. Here you can change the latency by changing here. Now in the loop function we call the blank.run and timer.run function. So this is the complete program for the smart dustbin. Now time to upload the program to ESP32 board. But before that change your blank project credential, Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. After it connect to your ESP32 board to the computer. Go to the tools tab in the board section select the board as ESP32 Brewer module. For this, the ESP32 board must be installed in your Arduino ID. A link is available in the video description to guide you how to install the ESP32 board. If you are using a NodeMCU ESP8266 board, then you need to select the NodeMCU 1.0 ESP12E module as a board. Now go to the tools tab again and select the port as COM3. If you didn't find the COM port, then you need to install the driver for your board. A link is available in the video description to guide you how to install. Okay. Now click the upload button to upload the program to your board. It will take little time to upload the program. As you can see, the program has been uploaded to the board. Now time to connect your hardware. This is the circuit diagram to connect the sensors for the smart dustbin with the ESP32 board. Connect your all circuit as per this circuit diagram. 
I have connected all the circuits as per this circuit diagram and I have also designed a flap for the dustbin using a sunboard as you can see. Now let's configure the Blink mobile app. So go to the app store or android store and download the Blink IoT app. Log into it. Once you log in, you will find your project template like this. Click on this project template and go inside it. Click on the setting icon and then click on the plus icon. The widget window has been opened. We need to add two labels and one gauze in the project dashboard. So scroll below and click on the labeled value to add it. Add one more label. Add the gauze in the dashboard. And now arrange the size and placement as per your requirements. Now click on the first label and select the data stream as distance V0. Increase the font size and back to the dashboard. Now click on the second level. Select the data stream as bin label V1. Increase the font size and back to the dashboard. Click on the goes and select the data stream servo angle V2. Increase the font size and back to the dashboard. So this is your project dashboard now. So now let's fix our hardware to the dustbin. We have fixed the wires to pull the flap of the dustbin so that the flap can pull up using a servo motor. Let's see the live demo of our smart dustbin. Open the blank IoT app. As you can see, the height of the bin is shown here and garbage level is 0%. Now I am going to put some garbage in the bin. When we put the hand in front of IR sensor, the flap has been opened. You can see the goes value and shows the flap angle is 90 because the flap is open. I have put some boxes in the bin as garbage. And as you can see, the level of the garbage bin has been increased. As much as we put something on the bin, the level in the app has been increased accordingly. You can also see all the data in the blank web dashboard. So go to the blank project template here, click on the search tab and you will find your project. Click on your project and you will see all the data in your project dashboard. So guys, this is how you can design your smart dustbin with the new Blink 2.0 IoT app and web dashboard. If you have any query, write it into the comment box below. Please like and subscribe to our channel and share with your friends and all. All the information and links related to the video available in the video description.